Burma coup resistance notes December 3, 2022. Revolutionary activity not only killed hundreds of junta troops during November, it also killed officers. A colonel, 10 lieutenant colonels and majors, four captains, and two police chiefs died during November in attacks by ethnic armies and people's defense forces. Ethnic regions. Kareni forces spent the past five days clearing junta troops out of four villages north of Dimorso town. The invaders had dug trenches and built bunkers in people's yards and compounds, and they left the area full of landmines to kill and maim the residents when they return. Kareni soldiers are keeping civilians out until they can remove the mines. Kareni defense forces also captured a junta supply vehicle carrying food, weapons, and drugs for troops yesterday. It was driven by six pro-junta BGF operatives carrying full weapons, and was stopped in Palang, Loikor Township. The BGF were arrested on drug transporting charges and supporting the illegal regime, and were handed over to the pro-revolution Kareni State Police for prosecution. Junta troops are issued methamphetamines to drive their performance on the front line without any leave or downtime. The Kachin army blew up a junta convoy last night in Pakant Town, destroying a truck and killing 15 troops and wounding seven. Witnesses described pieces of junta troops scattered by the bomb. In Beit Tavoy district of Korthile, Tananthari region on Burmese maps PDFs attacked a junta border post yesterday at Yardanapan near Kauhang, mainland Burma's southernmost point. Five junta troops were killed and several others wounded. Update on the five-hour PDF attack in Palor Township of Beit Tavoy district of Korthile, Tananthari region on Burmese maps yesterday. At least seven junta troops were killed and five wounded, while the rest fled, leaving behind a weapon and ammunition. Karen Army Brigade 5 in neutral district of Korthile, Papoon Township on Burmese maps issued its November combat statistics, 116 clashes with junta BGF invasion troops, in which 69 of the enemy were killed and 51 wounded, a sergeant was killed and a captain wounded. Nine Karen soldiers were killed and 26 wounded. A junta truck was destroyed. Junta airstrikes destroyed homes, schools, and churches, and caused the displacement of refugees. A junta soldier defected to Karen Army Brigade 6 in Duplayer District Kyansaki Township on Burmese maps on December 1 with full weapons, and was given safety and material support. Junta Scorched Earth Village Terrorism Campaign Paiu saw Hiti terrorists shot two farmers returning to the village in Tanzin, Yinmapan Township of Zagaring Region on December 1. Armed PDF soldiers then rescued the farmers. The wounds aren't fatal, but one man will lose his hand. During November, the junta torched nearly 5,000 homes and burned 24 people alive during its village terrorist assaults. People's Defense Forces PDFs In Zagaring region, a Monowa township PDF fired on two vans full of junta troops yesterday, killing five troops in one of the vans, they were prevented from capturing the weapons in the van by return fire from the other van, and withdrew unharmed. A video documents the action. Similarly, another van carrying five police on the Shomu Road in Monowa Township yesterday was blasted by roadside bombs, killing two and wounding the other three. Then another van came to pick up the dead and wounded, and on its way back it, too, was bombed, killing another junta police and wounding one more. The PDF captured the first van and the weapons of the first five police. The van shows many perforations from the first explosion. Three PDF soldiers died in an accident in Tamu Township as they were removing landmines they had set for junta troops. They were removing them because civilians began entering the area and they needed to avoid collateral casualties. In Mandalay region, four commandos from a PDF in NY Ong Shui Township surprised and killed five junta police including a commando in Detmamau on December 1, capturing their weapons. These police had been extorting money for the junta from the local population. The attack took a month to plan. A junta administrator in Ongtha, in Tangtha Township of Mandalay region, had taunted PDFs, challenging them to come and kill him if they dare. On November 30 they did that, and his death was announced yesterday. In an illustration of how thinly junta troops are stretched, when the troops in Marupin, Irrawaddy region were redeployed to the front lines elsewhere, the regime drafted civilian Dalans, local regime spies to wear uniforms, carry weapons, and man the junta's checkpoints, with no training. Maru Pin sees little fighting and is considered a rear area, but this new vulnerability could invite PDF attacks.
In Bago region, junta troops and Paiu Sorhati operatives have been standing guard at night at a railroad crossing at the entrance to Yetishe in Taungu Township, so a local PDF blew them up two nights ago, killing three of them. Urban Warfare In Yangon, an urban PDF bombed junta admin offices in North Dagon Township last night during a meeting of junta admin staff. Two bars in Lang Township that are considered supportive of the junta were bombed last night also. Political and Economic National Unity Government Interim President Dua Lashila appeared on Reuters international television news program yesterday, saying the popular forces need anti-aircraft weapons to be airdropped to them, and that if the air strikes could be prevented, the revolution would in within six months. When asked whether negotiations with the illegal military regime would be possible, he cited prerequisite conditions for discussions, including a cessation of the killing, the total withdrawal of the old military from politics, the scrapping of the 2008 constitution and the non-interference of the old military in humanitarian aid distribution. While the setting of conditions may give the impression that there are scenarios in which the revolution might accommodate the junta in some measure, political observer Uthan So Naring said these conditions would never be acceptable to the junta, and that the revolution therefore needs to continue fighting to remove all vestiges of the illegal regime. Kin Mong Shui has been beaten and kicked to death by junta guards in insane prison. He was cited by Sean Turnell, Australian economic advisor to Aung San Suu Kyi, as a fellow prisoner who helped save his life during his nearly two years in unlawful detention by the coup regime in Burma. Kin Mong Shui was a Muslim imprisoned for anti-junta sympathies. Sean Turnell praised him upon his release by the regime in November, so the junta murdered him. Farmers in Palatwa Township of Chin State are typical in that harsh junta controls on the movement of people have prevented at least half of them from planting their rice crop this year. Junta house checks require residents to be present during the checks, and because they are often done during the day, farmers can't spend the day working in the field, so they stay home. This, along with the depopulation of the rice belt through terrorist attacks, and the scarcity of seeds and fertilizer since the coup, has dramatically reduced Burma's food supply. Don't forget subscribe, like, share.